All right, hold on. Let's send the Zoom. I'm just freaked out because we don't know who this person is. Like, we, we do. literally don't know who this is. I have no idea. Oh, she's seen it. She's seen it. She's seen it. All right, get ready. She's coming. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what the? Oh, my gosh. Oh. 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 Hi, Jay. Are you the person we've been talking to and the person Jay has been talking to? You can call me Mars. The actor from the vampire movie? Yes. I'd say you caught me red-handed. Hmm. Really? Fine. Okay. Once and for all. Never really intended for things to go this far. I didn't know how to cut my ties loose without, you know, ever actually having to hurt you or just leave you hanging. I felt bad. Hmm. I didn't know what I was doing. I just want to ask you, did you do this to try to pursue a relationship? Nope. Do you have romantic feelings at all for Jay? No, ma'am. I am completely straight, but I will say that the feelings I have for him were starting to th think about a beautiful, spurring friendship. I'm not proud of what I've done and how long I've been doing it, but I'm just glad, you know, I'm finally getting to come clean. I mean, I literally let off the conversation by telling you that one of my best friend's mothers died of cancer and had her Facebook stolen. Right. So how do you how do you even justify going forward? I can't really say that I can make any sort of excuse for my actions. But what I can tell you is I did it with the best of intentions. How is that how is that good intentions at all? Let's let him explain. Okay, go for it. Just give us a little bit of the history of, of yes. Anna. Of course, you know, if anything, I think that's the least that I owe you all guys. So I, I started this account way back when I was still in college, and this was primarily used as for a stalking account. You know, to stalk girls, both girls and guys. And uh, when I started it as a guy, I was pretending to be someone named Massimo. And uh, I'm guessing that you guys could figure out the person who I was talking to based on the profile in the account. Wait, you mean Laika? Yes. You were observing the girl Laika who lives in the Philippines, right? Yes. And are, are you from the Philippines? Yes, I am as well. And do you still live in the Philippines? No, I'm Tom Q, okay. way back here in the city of Las Vegas, United States of America. And so do you know her personally or did you know her? She was a co-dancer of a dancer that I was, you know, trying to date. Okay, so you had a crush on this girl, Laika, and so you made a page to friend her and perhaps kind of get to know her a little better. Yeah. Is there a reason that you couldn't do that as yourself? Yeah, with me just being a totally awkward and odd guy. <laughs> okay. I, I would never had the guts to ask her out back then. And all the girls that you know were dancing were just pretty much way too out of my league. So you, you made this fake profile, you talked to Laika. No, I've never spoken to her. Oh, you just followed her as this guy, but you never talked. Yes, that's the part of also being totally odd. I've never had the guts to talk to her on and offline. <laughs> See, in real life, I never thought of doing it, so why do it online? Right. So then my big question is, how and why did you find Jay? So it started, uh, you know, way back when I was personally, you know, a victim of being catfished. And uh, it was very traumatizing and I was personally crucified, you know, by being blackmailed and extorted, you know, by a female who, you know, catfished me off guard. She took some snaps. I was unfortunately in bed pretty much half naked. So, so what did she want for the photos? Because you said that she extorted you. Yeah, she was blackmailing me for a hundred bucks. I know as okay. cheap as it may sound, I don't give in to those kind of demands, not even for a dollar. Since then, I mean, you know, it's kind of like been a really sen sensitive subject to me. Uh, you know, when I first, yeah. <laughs> that's that's bull. I'm sorry. If you if you took any of that to heart, you would not be doing any damn thing you are doing right now, bro. Like, oh, sorry. I just still can't get an answer from you on how did you find Jay and why did you talk to him. When I was going about catfishing, I said, you know, I want to let people, you know, take a taste of their own medicine. 
So when I started catfishing, I was catfishing as a guy. And then all of a sudden, you know, one time, I, I see this guy on the side of the friend suggestion list. The friend suggestion was Jay. Yes. Okay. And I was maybe thinking if I could pull off one last stunt, maybe do this time as a girl. So you just made the Ana profile two months ago to catfish Jay? Yes. And was that in any way connected to a feeling or an emotion that's like, hmm, I think I'd like to talk to Jay as a girl? No. But I would say throughout you know, the conversation, there were always thoughts going about in my head like, you know, this is actually a really nice guy. And to that point, I thought, wow, this guy doesn't deserve anything that I was doing to him at all. Because to tell you the truth, there was you know, this big agenda that I was trying to do with this you know, from the very start. And all I wanted from him was to do the real that I was asking. I just want to think that as long as I've already you know, gotten what I want, I'll stop right then and there. So pay somebody online to make a reel. There's plenty of video editing people out there in the world. Yo, dude, that's 25 bucks. Can we just slide you into the like waiting room for a minute? I just want to check in with Jay, and then we'll bring you back in. Absolutely. All right, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, don't don't go anywhere. There we what go. What the hell is going on? Is he is he beaming in from another planet? Is that what's happening? Uh, He's a weird dude. And to do all this just for a video edit reel? Mm. Such a crock of. But if I was trying to get a free reel from you. After the third time, I would have been like, okay, f this guy. That's what doesn't make sense, is the time invested. Yeah. Also, he said that he made the Facebook for Anna two months ago to talk to you. But that has photos dating back from 2017. So oh, how yeah. is that possible? Oh, that's not possible. That's not possible. He's clearly not ready to be totally honest with us about the situation. So look, why don't we go back now and say, listen, man, why don't you just tell us the truth? Okay, yeah. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Hook face. All right. Hey, man. Hi, you guys. Here's kind of where we're at. Obviously, there is certainly more to the story. Like with Anna's Facebook page that you said you just made, we know you didn't just make that because the pictures on there are from like 2017. We're gonna give you one more chance to come clean and be honest. So do you wanna do that or do you want to end up looking like kind of a liar who won't just say the truth? Here's kind of where we're at. Obviously, there is certainly more to the story. Like with Anna's Facebook page that you say you made two months ago, we know you didn't just make that because the pictures on there are from like 2017. So. We're gonna give you one more chance to come clean and be honest. So do you wanna do that or do you want to end up looking like kind of a liar who won't just say the truth? No, I totally understand, sir. So you say this was all to get a video reel done, correct? Yeah. But wait a second. Did you know Jay was an editor before you started talking to him? No. All right, so then why did you start talking to him? Just on the off chance that maybe this guy could edit your reel? Just. Why did you pick me? Just so I want you to remember, you did approach me in the first place. No, you did. no. Uh -uh. I, you I would say I, I added you, but then you said you know, hi to me first. Wait, let me check. Let me. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. All right, I'm gonna share this screen so we can all see it. Boom. Hi. This makes a big difference. It shows intent. Okay. You also, I mean, as you can see, you also kind of, you know, you came in pretty cute with your little kissy. Face. If I'm watching the show right now and I see you and I see that you've had a profile for a girl that you used to talk to guys and that you added Jay as a friend and started talking with him in what I, again, would interpret as a flirtatious way, my instinct is to think, oh, I guess Mars wanted to flirt with a guy. And What's no big deal? Okay, fine. I know that while I'm fully straight when it comes to f being physically attracted to only women, I like to flirt. And sometimes if a guy wants to flirt with me, I, I, I'll flirt with a guy, it's fun to flirt. I'm, I'm okay to admit that. 
maybe we are just looking for a little extra attention right now. That's honestly, you know, how we end up having the conversation for so long, even though, you know, some points in, in my head were telling me to stop. And I was just, you know, glad, you know, every time that he'd say that he'd miss talking to me. Fair enough. Uh, you could just say one good thing about me. <laughs> or just like a... I honestly, I w wasn't talking to Laika. I was talking to you. And as much as I really f understand how you can compartmentalize, I gave you an out right away. And I feel like you never took that out all the way up until here. And so for me, I have no problem saying absolutely nothing positive towards the situation. Other than I hope that you learn that you've not just affected me, but you'll affect Laika. And I hope that you would take down that profile yeah. and delete everything. I get you. I forgive you, but do I need to give you any sort of leeway past that? No. You're just going to be out of my life, and that is what it is. Gone. I hope that we had some sort of... <laughs> ...friendship after this. But... I understand. Did it ever occur to you to just add him as a friend from your personal profile? No. Because, you know, I probably would have done your real. You know, like, I'm, not, I, I'm a nice dude, and at the end of the day, honesty gets you a lot further than lying. I definitely agree. We all make mistakes, we do things we regret. It feels to me like this cycle you've been in since college, and you weren't confident. I hope you don't feel that way anymore because I am feeling that you have a lot of good aspects to your personality. You're well-spoken, you're very respectful. You, you're a good-looking guy. So I, I hope you can find some self-worth and some confidence. Be yourself, whatever that may be. You give people the truth and let them deal with that, with what they will. So good luck. Thank you so much, man. This was very interesting, confusing. I know, I didn't really want to make it so intriguing. Intriguing is definitely the word that I would use. And I wish you the best. All right, see you later, Mars. Bye. Yeah, and I've been moving up. He went for the virtual handshake, you see that? <laughs> and I went to the virtual nod. Am I in the Twilight Zone? I don't know who he is. I don't know who that man is. Neither do I. You were great, Jay. You you nailed it. We done it. You you were right to be careful, and I wish more people would be cautious and skeptical from the jump, like you. Yeah, no, it's all right. It's the it's the name of the game, so yeah. you know, eventually you'll come around, and I'll find uh, I'll find the right person for me. So a little honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. See you later, man. Bye. 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 Two hopeless hookups. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.